Hey guys, Thrifty Teresa here. Um, I am coming to you with a video that I've been meaning to do for quite some time about Bonanza. Specifically, Bonanza with Etsy. I know a lot of eBay sellers use Bonanza, and Bonanza can be a good tool for you um, as a seller to increase your visibility online, to have a completely different marketplace um, to sell your wares, but you can import your eBay listings and your Etsy listings to Bonanza. Now, when you import your eBay listings to Bonanza, Bonanza updates your eBay listings on a regular basis. I believe it's once every 24 hours. It scans your shop, and um, we'll just do here import from eBay, um, and then it tells me that the last time it did an import for me was July 20th, that is today, and it did it around 1 a.m. Uh, it imported some items. It will also remove items from your Bonanza store that have sold on eBay. So if I sold items on eBay today, tomorrow's update is going to remove those items from Bonanza. Now, um, it is in your best interest to keep Bonanza updated um, and not necessarily wait for that 24-hour update to happen. I mentioned in a previous video that um, I had sold a uh, small puzzle bag of, uh, it was a Transformers puzzle, and I sold it on eBay. Less than 24 hours later, somebody went onto my Bonanza store and bought the same puzzle. I had already mailed and shipped that puzzle to the original eBay buyer, so I had to unfortunately cancel that Bonanza sale because enough time had not elapsed for Bonanza to update my Bonanza store to remove that item. Um, and I didn't think to go in and remove it myself. So if you've got, um, I imagine if you have a small eBay store, you should be able to keep track of your items that have been imported onto Bonanza, and it would be in your best interest to check this site anytime you have an eBay sale. Now with that said, Bonanza and Etsy are a completely different animal. Bonanza and Etsy do not update with each other. It is up to you, the seller, to manually update Bonanza with your Etsy listings. And with that update, there are some things I want you guys to know that you will have to change because of the way that Bonanza imports the Etsy listings. So let's go up here to, it says sell on Bonanza to import from Etsy. Now, here it tells me that the last time I've updated on Etsy was June 8th, so it's been like a month and a half since I've updated my Etsy items onto Bonanza. Um, it's actually been that long because that was the last time I did it, and I thought, oh my gosh, there's all this stuff happening that I really should make a video about, and then I never got around to making the video. So I haven't done any updates on Bonanza since June 8th. And, um, it gives you the step-by-step -step thing of what you need to do to import your items. So you sign into your Etsy account, you go to your shop settings, you choose options, then you click on the tab to download data, and you download the CSV report. And then down here at the bottom of this page, you would then choose that to update it. Let's take a look at uh, my Etsy shop to show you exactly where you need to go. So under your shop, you go to Shop Settings, you go over and choose Options, and that brings you to your shop options. Up here in the top is the Download Data tab, and here is where you download the CSV. So let's go ahead and hit that button to download. It pops up a little download down here. Etsy listing download number three is the name of my item it comes up with all this gibberish we don't need to worry about that this is just the document that Bonanza needs to read um, to get my Etsy listings so back on the Bonanza page let's choose the file I know it went into my downloads folder 
So let's find it. It was uh, Etsy listings uh, download number three. Uh, we'll choose that one. And um, it says remove all items from the booth that aren't in the inventory file. I don't want to do that because I do have the eBay items on there and they're not going to be on this file. We are simply going to have them update whatever Etsy listings are on this file. So I hit the import items button. Now it's letting you know your import has been queued. This queue process can take several hours to update your Bonanza store. While that's going, let's go ahead and take a look at my Bonanza store, show you some stuff that you might need to know when it comes to importing your Bonanza listings. Uh, one of the first things I need to do is I have had a couple uh, Etsy sales recently that I haven't gone into Bonanza to remove. So let me find that listing. Uh, go down the page. I think it was on page number three. So here you can see I've got a mix between my Etsy items and my eBay items. Um, it's all sort of mishmashed in there. I think it was on page three. Uh, no. Page four. It looks like it's starting to import some things already. You see these items that are sort of, um, they're all muted. You can't really see them very well. Uh, those are items that are being imported right now. And I know that they are because I only uploaded these items to Etsy a couple days ago. So they, they're just hitting Bonanza today with this import that I'm doing right now. Uh, but let's see, I gotta find that item that I sold. It was a red and white polka dot bracelet. Where did you go? Here we go. Red and white polka dot bracelet. Um, I have sold that on Etsy, so I need to go and delete that. Do I really want to delete it? Yes, I want to delete it because I don't want to have another situation where a customer buys it and then I have to be a jerk and say, I'm sorry, I'm a jerk. I sold that already and canceled the sale. Uh, the good part about it is that Bonanza doesn't ding your account for canceling sales if you have to do it. It's not the same like defect system that uh, eBay has. Um, it just, I'm sure, made a customer very unhappy. Uh, anyway, I think that's the only item in here that I needed to remove. Uh, but let's take a look at some Etsy items that might need some editing. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, thing of Avon soaps. Just as an example, one of the things that is different on Etsy and Bonanza is that Bonanza has a limited character title for your item. So on Etsy, I can't, I think it's like 125 characters. It's like huge. On Bonanza, it's only 80 characters. It's a much smaller title the way that um, eBay is. So when all of my items import over from Etsy, I probably want to go through and update some of the titles. Um, now the way that I create the titles on Etsy, all the most important information is at the front of the title anyway. So if some of it gets cut off, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, your pictures will import automatically, but you do have um, an opportunity to edit your photos. They have a background burner if you want to remove some shadows or some um, things in the background of your photo, you can do that really nicely through Bonanza. They've got a pretty good program. Uh, you may also need to change the category because the categories on Etsy and the categories on Bonanza are different. So you will want to double check your items to make sure that they're listed in the right category. And then the other thing that does not transfer very well is shipping. So on all of these items that I'm importing into Bonanza today, I'm going to have to go through and check every single darn one of them to make sure that I have appropriate shipping costs on there. Now, you can either do a flat rate shipping, you can do free shipping, you can do a calculated shipping. Bonanza shipping options are pretty good, but it will not automatically transfer properly from Etsy 
you will need to go in and change your listings. Uh, your item price and everything imports just fine. So those are just some of the things you need to pay attention to when you import your Bonanza item, your Etsy items onto Bonanza, is edit your title. If your title looks weird, that's because you've run over characters. So edit your title if you need to. You have the opportunity to edit some of your photos if you want to do that. Make sure your category is correct. Your title and every, your description and everything should be the same. And then double check your shipping options. You certainly wouldn't want to sell something that um, had bad shipping options on it and then wind up taking a loss on that overall sale. Uh, so while that is importing, we can go back over here again to sell on Bonanza, click import from Etsy, and it'll tell me how much of my items have uh, been done. And oh, it looks like it's already complete. Um, my import from Etsy was finished here uh, just a few minutes. So that's nice. It only took, what, two, three minutes for me to show you that stuff, and the import is already finished. I have had times, though, where I guess the Bonanza servers are being inundated with requests, and it has taken hours for the update to go through. Uh, now that that update is complete, Let's go to Sell on Bonanza, Add or Edit Items, and what I want to do is I want to sort everything by name. And the reason I'm doing that is because look at here, it's going to show me if I have duplicates. These are duplicates from my eBay store on these Littlest Pet Shop items, so I want to delete one of those. Uh, this is a duplicate from an Etsy item that I already had listed, my uh, gold Tupperware cups. You can see this one down here is a gold Tupperware cup set, but it's in this little yellow marker. See all these things that are with the green marker? Those are good to go. Those are on Bonanza. They're ready to go. Anybody can buy them at any second. But these ones that we just imported are probably going to show up in yellow because they're not quite ready to be live because I need to go in and edit them. In this case, I'm just going to delete it because that's a duplicate of those yellow cups. Uh, here, here's some new items that just imported these two Adley buttons, uh, which are political uh, buttons from the 60s. Let's edit this one. And it'll tell me what are my current problems. So it'll tell me that the category didn't import properly. The category can't be blank. So I'm also going to have to change my title because as you can see here, it cut off the word governor. So I'll have to edit that title. And then here I'll need to select my category. And then further down, I need to make sure that I fix the shipping because it defaulted to free shipping and I'm not offering free shipping. So I will go in and put a flat rate shipping or a calculated shipping for my customers. Once I've made all these changes to the items, uh, then it will go green, just like all these other little green dots. So again, I've sorted by name to check for duplicates. And now I just go through the list page by page and fix all the items that are in the yellow because those are the ones that need to be updated or in this case deleted because we got some duplicates again. So that's it. Um, I hope you were able to follow along. I hope it sort of made sense. And uh, this video has gotten really long, though. So thank you very much for watching. Leave some questions below if I didn't cover things properly or if I misspoke or you didn't understand what I was trying to say. Uh, ask me questions and I will try to clarify. Uh, I hope everybody has great luck selling. I don't get too many sales on Bonanza, maybe one a month. But hey, that is a sale that wouldn't otherwise come through from Etsy or eBay. So there are Bonanza shoppers out there. So get your items on Bonanza. It is free to use. Uh, the fees are very reasonable. Um, I believe they're about the same uh, amount of fees as Etsy. So good luck, everybody. Bye.